Welcome back to Firefighting Female, a continuation of last week's episode. So another thing that I noticed change in, obviously, as we have progressed through the years and gained knowledge, is, you know, risk reduction for things like cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes. Picture now how we handle ourselves compared to the way we were, like we were talking about. You judged how good a fire was by how black your boogies were, you know? Right, right. And now that is a huge no-no. Right. And I remember so many things. But one thing was I was on a call with Mitch Molinov. Hmm. Wow. And so you know how long ago that was, a while. right? Mm-hmm. So we were on a townhouse fire, and now it's time for salvage and overhaul. And there was barely any fire. So we're in there, and we're just picking things up and throwing them outside like we always did, right? And he said, stop it, everybody. Get out right now. And we're like, what's going on? I mean, it is as clear as it is in this room. Hmm. He said, there are smoldering records. Put your SCBA on. The carcinogens in the vinyl of records will cause cancer, and you will thank me in 25 years. I was probably 17 or 18 at the time. He was ahead of his time. <laughs> yeah. And I'm thinking, this guy's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, there's like no smoke, but they were smoldering. Yeah. So I was thinking to myself, now 25 years goes by. I'm like, oh, no. Should I go to the doctor? (laughs) (laughs) Thank God for proms, right? Right. 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 (laughs) So, you know, you never, ever wore any SCBA during salvage and overhaul. And now it's a whole nother ball game. And we look at the types of cancers that are popping up. And now all of our colleagues from the beginning of time Unfortunately, many of them have come mm-hmm. down with certain cancers, and unfortunately, we've lost them. Mm-hmm. So thank God for, you know, transitioning to a safer fire service and the knowledge we've gained and the studies that we've acquired. It's the craziest thing. I mean, now we are making sure that we wash our gear when before a sign of a good firefighter was oh how dirty oh, and yeah. disgusting your yeah. gear was. How ripped up it yeah. was. Right, and, you know, you have your little fabric on your hands here to keep your wrists from burning while it was cold so we always had our coats on in the back of the squad right eating whatever right with it sitting on god knows what that we have just been exposed to or hydraulic fluid right Right. Right. hydraulic fluid everything everything. and we would just eat we would it's good for the immune system we would come in and we put (laughs) our (laughs) pants on immediately because you never know when a call could come out so we're ready this way or it was next to your bed right next to your bunk sleep with it you're an officer you you know you, you get off it's cold you go into the firehouse with your at least your bunker pants on you sit down you write your report you're sitting in the chair lay on the couch you're laying on the couch with it you know because you're going to get a call soon so you might as well just leave them on right um i can remember in the very beginning um after the first couple of fires i ever ran leaving all my gear on going out to my car in my saturn sl2 Mm -hmm. oh yeah baby out into the side parking lot it's probably parked by the dumpster (laughs) (laughs) right and getting in my car and just rubbing mm. all over right. my upholstery so I could smell the smoke. Right. <laughs> like, because you thought it was cool. What a. D- <laughs> you know, just, but if you were caught doing that now, you'd be. You know, oh, right. I mean, that's just not acceptable at all. But yeah, just, just washing the gear separate sets of gear i mean who has who has we were forced to go with the old red gear who, that you found who in the closet back you then found it in the closet right? yeah, right? you have like extra gear right yeah. and i mean <laughs> perish the thought if you had to get new gear oh, yeah. you were mortified to go on your first call with your perfect your oh. reflex light right. is starting to melt on some of the you areas would, yeah. Yeah. after your first fire i mean you would be like rubbing stuff all yep. over you to right. make yourself dirty it's like oh i right. can't be seen like this this is mortifying right. my yeah. you know they're gonna tell me i'm a rookie oh right. my god yeah. right. and now before you even clean anything you shower within the hour you yeah. know because now everything is just yep. boom 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 yeah. thank god right, right. seriously right. it's just insane so now also remember i don't think any of us were smokers <laughs> But the guys would come out of a house fire the second they would. Uh, light before up. Before they'd even go to the canteen. Yep. And they'd be walking to the canteen with a cigarette hanging yep. out of their oh. mouth. It is just. Yep. That tough. <laughs> remember, Mackenzie, remember Mackenzie would, would go I into the fire. Mackenzie. Mackenzie would walk into the fire with his <laughs> cigarette hanging out of his mouth. I Drive mean, down this road right. with a ma- cigarette yep. hanging out of his mouth. Yeah, whenever I picture him i mean he was the true image just he, yeah. black foot uh, on his face oh, yeah. melted helmet and yeah. shield 
Cigarette Red hanging mustache. out. Red Cigarette mustache. hanging out. Yep. 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 Just that filthy gear, just worn, you know? Oh, man. That dude knew everything, though. Mm. He was, he, he could teach you so much. He, he knew helped, he everything. helped me a lot. Yeah, he helped He was God. God. He, he was, was God. fair across the board. Yeah. If you put right. in the work, he was fair across he the board. He was like, there yeah. were things that I needed to work yeah. on, and I, I can't, you know, and, and they were like, you can go to anybody to help you. Right. And I was like, Nikki. Yep. yep. So I remember, Good guy. you know, I would go a little earlier before duty, you know, a couple hours, mm-hmm. and and he'd like go over stuff with he me. He was actually an adjunct instructor for he a while. He was so yeah. good. Yeah. He was very patient. Um, but don't piss him off. Oh, don't no. piss him off. Girl. Don't you make sure you do your dishes. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we came in one Wednesday morning and right. I was Lose brought it. in do it do your f-ing dishes and threw them into the bunk room. Yeah. We right. all were like, "Oh." He didn't ask for much. So, no. yeah. just yeah. do the dishes. We all were like, "Oh." Sh- Walk of shame, uh, taking our sheets off right. the bed. Oh, it was horrible. I remember because never what, forget that. Do your fucking dishes. <laughs> yeah, like, the trash. Yeah, one time I was in the men's bunk room. I forget. I think it was Sterling that was sleeping there. He was snor- and it was heavy. Both of them. Remember they were on the top. Yeah, because we would go up top. They were snoring so loud, and I was on the bunk over here. I was like, I just got my stuff, and I went in the women's bunk room. There was nobody else in there. And we didn't clean. We were exhausted. Right. It was just like, you know, 4 o'clock, we're finally going to bed, and Mick rolls in at 4.30, and I am passed out in the women's bunk room, and I wake up to see him laying on his side like this, just staring at me. <laughs> Not a word comes out of it. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing? What's what happening? And I'm like, okay, what happened? What is wrong with you? You are the officer on this crew, and this place is a pigsty, and I shouldn't have to come in here and clean your sh- up yep. and he just said and if you want your stuff it's in the trash can <laughs> oh my god everything that was on yep. the kitchen table uh, he threw it out i mean that was the one thing right. yeah i mean it was well, so crazy yeah he took me with him to kentland one time i was scared for my life yeah you know because that's like you know you better know your stuff that's when you go to shit, yeah. right but i wanted to ride the engine and i was like you know mick i said you know we're so trained on ambulances medicine as a squad i need some engine time what are you crazy? Come on. And I'm like, what have I done? Throw her to the yeah. wolves. And I was like, what have I done? Oh, no. <laughs> no like, I do ladder crazy. company before the engine. I do ladder before engine. It was a whole nother world. Yeah. And Kentland in itself is a whole nother I world. I know. Yeah. It was so funny because I remember when I was trying to, you know, make my way as one of the first, you know, women on the squad. And they made me take every class at the academy, mm-hmm. including pumps and hydraulics. I hated and that class. I couldn't I understand. Know. So I was like, oh, well, so what am hard. I supposed to do? I go to Station 18. Keith is like... Just he was like, I don't he know. Just, yeah, he, he would like, just, I just no, turn yeah. it here and I do yeah. this and I do this. But, yeah. you know, you have to know the math. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. He's like, come on. So we got in this big old truck. Remember that big old That brown red truck? thing, yeah. We had the red thing and he had that yeah. light brown one. So we had the light brown one at Station 5. I forget who I worked with over there. You know, it was Eric. He's like, Eric will teach you how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh so God. funny. Friction loss. So, so important. I like friction loss. That was the hardest class that I ever had to get through at the academy. I don't do math. I don't. I still don't know how. I think I probably. Should. I don't do math. Cheated. I just count five, I six, just, seven, eight. That's and it. It's all <laughs> math. Five, six, you know, seven, eight. I don't do math. <laughs> all math. It, it was all math. Yeah. It was yeah. hard. But you had yeah. to, I think, have it for cat or lieutenant. Do you have to have it for lieutenant? I think it was for lieutenant. Because uh, yeah. see, back then. Well, I was a sergeant. There's no more yeah, sergeants, right? Yeah, right, right, right. And so I had to have it to become a sergeant. Okay. So I think it was to be any officer. You any, have to anything have yeah, over I think that's what it was. A man man then, too. Right, to be the lieutenant. That's when I had to take the officership classes where you have to, like, teach a class yeah. and do things like that. That was yeah. easy. But I'm telling you, my experience with the academy, I will never forget, and I loved every one of those classes because it was so challenging for me. Mm. And I took it, fire one with Chris and a woman named Marjorie, and we would be done, and I would get in my car, and I'd be like, okay, don't cry yet, don't cry right, yet. Right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> get out of the parking lot. lot. Yeah. Yeah. Parking yeah. like, oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> the old academy. And everything yeah. hurt. Yes. yes. Everything hurt. Yes. I was like, how am I even doing this? Yeah. yeah. And I go back the next day, but here's the thing that I discovered. Women and men are built very differently, yeah. okay? So the first time, I mean, nobody's going to beat me out there. I'm going to be the best. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to, st- I'll be the first one and the last one out. I don't care what I have to do. Couldn't figure out half the stuff. So I go in there <laughs> now. We've raised the ladder, okay? 
and you can remember the burn building. But oh, now yeah. you got to throw a roof ladder on, on top. top. Okay. Uh, and I'm all wobbly. And, of course, the helmet's bobbling around. Bobbling yeah. around. Right. And the bottle is from yep. here to here. Yeah. And my pants are here, you know, and I'm not making excuses. It's just you the way You got hooker boots right? on, the hooker right. boots. And at the yeah. time, I weighed about literally 128 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I'm, like, thinking, okay, I'm going to do it. So I'm holding this thing. And I'm all proud of myself. I could not do it. Yeah. Could not do it. And I'm thinking, okay, what is wrong with me? I'm a competitive power lifter, for God's sakes, mm-hmm. and I can't throw a roof ladder right. on top of a roof. Right. And so now I'm thinking, okay, so my trainer would always talk about dinosaurs, okay, when we would squat and things like that. He's like, think about those dinosaurs with feet this big and those huge bodies and those huge tails. How do they get along? It's all physics and momentum, Right. right. So I'm thinking, all right, here I'm just trying to go like this. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. So I'm like, all right, rethink it. Don't let them see that you're freaking out. You got it. So I, like, start squatting down, and then I just flung this thing up. <laughs> right. So I'm put thinking, it up there. okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, great. Now I know women hold their strength from the waist down, right. from mm-hmm. their waist up. Right. So if I threw my fat ass into it, right. I'm you're going it. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. Chris, who is, like, this big and was right. about 100 pounds, I'm like, all right. Just push up with your legs and your butt, and you can do it. And she couldn't quite figure it out until we got back on the ground. I'm like, just go like this. Next time she's over there, it's right? Like, All right, boys, we got gotcha. you. Right? <laughs> They're like, <laughs> you, you know just did funny it. Is when I went through uh, class, they had us do it two people, so they would have one at the top and one at yeah. the bottom. And when I went up, I was at the top, and then the guy that was on the bottom was like six foot something so you know there was like all this like we like we had to like adjust because his movements were bigger than uh, mine yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like that's the other thing like, you did that on purpose didn't you it's like ballroom <laughs> dancing when you're up here and- right yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think one of the advantages though that women have um is whenever i would put my bottle on i would cinch the waist belt super tight and all of that weight would sit on my hips and would not hang on my shoulders. The shoulder straps were just to keep it from right, flopping right, around. Right, right. But you know, I would see the guys, they would often not even do the belt because it doesn't, they said it doesn't do anything. Right. They're right, just right. gonna hold it on mm-hmm. their shoulders. Yeah, they have no hips. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, this hips is an advantage lie. is <laughs> these childbirth and hips, I'm just gonna yeah. weight load on that, <laughs> yeah. you know? Um, but yeah, it's a one, there's one physical advantage. <laughs> But we made it, didn't we? Yeah. Got yeah. through every one of those classes with flying colors. Absolutely. Once we figured it all out. And Absolutely. that's all it was, too. Absolutely. It was awesome. I was thinking um, some of the things that, uh, terminology that we've had to forget is, you said one earlier, are we even allowed to say E-T-O-H anymore? Yes. Can we? We can say E-T-O-H, yeah. But can we, can oh, we you're transport you're, yeah, you don't, as E-T-O-H? I don't, yeah. I used to transport, I'd be like, because this drunk is a skunk, there's nothing wrong with him. Right. Yeah. He, he wants to go to the hospital, so I, what am I going to do, call him a sick person? So we, we E-T-O-H. 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 Right, and then we used to say um, P-I-A instead of P-I-C. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? personal it injury. It took yeah. to change that, yeah. that lingo. And now it's, yeah, personal collision. Collision, yeah. Because it's presumed, because so, if it's P-I-A, it's presumed that someone was caused the accident uh, okay yeah, 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 it, yeah it was it was some right kind of term legal, legalese kind of thing or something like that yeah um and uh what was the other one uh yeah. i mean the whole thing has changed mm-hmm. like remember i mean first of all you see all of the pieces of equipment that have changed mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and in the academy you never do that and then the next year you do that you do that yes right. exactly yeah. Yeah. This is yes. actually okay idea. so as long as you say you never do this we know that next refresher we're going to start doing that that's right. exactly right yeah i think taking away mass trousers um those were great those were great for bilateral femur fractures they were great. and you don't run those that often mm-hmm. but i have actually run several <laughs> and they would have been fantastic to Absolutely. stabilize they were all the ones were they were motorcycle accidents yes yeah. um great for stabilizing i use them now at my wellness place compression <laughs> exactly <laughs> true, story. Right. true story compression we put them on after put, i've had too much old bay put them on her legs <laughs> and your hips and for your hips too i do it on my hips right. savannah does them on her legs from dance uh, the compression i go this is mass trousers, mass trousers. and they has the tubes and they put gene put it up eeo i still have my little extra patch oh the little, yeah. the little rectangle eeo eoa eoa e- and mass e- yeah slash and mass. mass that's what it was i know i was so proud of all the things that i've got all my little pins in my things mm-hmm. and now i wear my uniform now i was never big on wearing a uniform 
I hated it. I wouldn't be comfortable when I was there. And I always wore sweatpants and a t-shirt. And Shannon one time said, when Rhonda dies, we'll put her in her black sweatpants. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly right. I mean, that was it. That's all I wore. I have to be dazzled at first. I was so uncomfortable wearing a uniform. And I'm like, I'm just putting on my gear anyway. Yeah. 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 Especially as an officer. Why are you wearing white? (laughs) Uh, All of mine were white. Stay gray. Gray. All my white. Yeah. Had these big black stripes on there, yeah. you know. Yeah. Or the ring around your all's collar. I would Always. be like, Because you'd be sweating. Yeah. 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 You know, you yeah. could keep you trying to um, shout it out or whatever, and it would always be gross. Yeah, know? there's and, no shouting it out And the squad wasn't going to give you, like, new ones. No, so. you, get, you go to the closet. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Can I get some white out on this? Right. Exactly. I know. I miss our old station so much. I do. I, I do, really too. Do. It's it's so intimate. It was so it was intimate. so intimate. Yeah. Like you a could real hide. station. You could You really oh, you could, could not. Hide. There right. was certain, but the best thing is I loved when they said, Okay, you guys, we were always on the roof, you know. Yes. I had a beach set up up there so yeah. we can suntan and have yeah. fun. And then if you go up there on Fourth of July, you can see DC's fireworks, Rockville. Rockville. Parks, Rockville's, mm-hmm. Wheaton's. You can see them all. You just kept yeah. like going in a circle, like, Oh, look at that. Oh, look mm-hmm. at that, oh look at that. And Stroke out. Don't go on the roof. Yes. Don't go on the roof. You're so making course, holes in the roof or something. Just say, don't go on the roof. What do we do? <laughs> go on do the it twice and take pictures. That's right. We do it twice and take pictures. It's like, I got to get the pool up there somehow. I don't know. <laughs> he was so easy to stress out. I know. I mean, oh, just yeah. the veins was just like pop. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And when you think of all the greats that we have known that have come through there. Mm-hmm. And the second you mentioned a name, I can think of now a hundred stories about him. Oh yeah, and just laugh. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it just makes you smile when you my, think about um, everybody. My 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 brick outside the news station, you know, where you could like have a quote yep, or whatever, yep. is a Horvat quote. The squad is not a hay wagon. I love it. <laughs> I know because he would get pissed because we would have all, yes. so many people yeah. on the bus, and you like in, in these times where you're trying to make minimum staffing, we'd have like seven yeah. on the there. It's like no more places to sit because of course who was. Was who sitting was sitting anyway, anyway, you, you know, were hanging on the back of it with oh, the doors yeah. wide open but uh yeah. no seat belt. Eating, eating you know salt from the road and right. just yeah. grit and but uh yeah he was like no that, that you know and he would get so stressed he so i know stressed. he was always so stressed and i think that a lot of people that joined and were on his crew felt the stress too yeah. and they were the ones that didn't have longevity right right and it's so interesting like when we joined if they were birds they'd be plucking out their feathers exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah. like when i joined i didn't think i'd be at the station 38 years later you know but here we are yeah. and i think now the average like if a career person starts, I don't know they're going to have the longevity that they once had because not just are we seeing a different type of trauma on calls, but the stressors of the world are coming in at us too. Mm -hmm. So it's so interesting that we are there for life. And I mean, you people had babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You all were pregnant riding at the squad. And if somebody told you no, I mean, Veronica was, she was like pregnant, <laughs> pregnant. Huge. She's like, I, I deliver I, my own. Pull, we pulled up to station 18 because there was a sick person or something that pulled up into their bay. Probably ETOH. No, and, probably. <laughs> and I'm wearing an XXL hoodie that Veronica <laughs> so kindly made for me. You know, and I'm like, and Maynard. Rest oh, I love oh, Maynard. One. Maynard. He looks at me. Love him. He's like, are you the call? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, why? <laughs> you know, a lot of hobos. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, I am. Because <laughs> you yeah, look all huge. big. That's oh, how yeah, you would have said it, Joe. You look oh, all big. Huge. I know, and it's crazy when we think now, since we've you know all known each other in our lives for so long, just seeing you very pregnant to now knowing your child all mm. through life, you know, all yeah. of your children, your but children. Pam, I mean, she definitely... He changed our diaper on the yeah. squad table. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's so crazy. Yeah. It is insane. And now she's Auntie Rhonda. Yeah. Like, takes care of my kid, knows more about my kid than mm-hmm. I do. I know. <laughs> I'm like the it's guy crazy. for Gavin. I got Savannah starting in September. Oh, wow. Lord, she, does. she does. She takes, she takes care of Gavin, picks him up every day at school, <laughs> sports, <laughs> takes care of him. I know, but the good thing is now he's going to have his learner's permit, so he can drive me home. Yeah, I'm tired again today. Right? I'm like, as soon as I pull up to the school, I'm just going to get on. I'm like, Gavin, take the wheel. That's right. <laughs> September just like coming. Carrie Underwood says, take the yeah, wheel. Take the wheel. <laughs> it's no, going to be cr- great. When you think about it, too, all the things that we've seen, like, we've all watched each other and been there for each other. You're right. Like, 
through such milestones of our mm-hmm. lives. Everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, our life, death, you know, buried family members, mm-hmm. birth children, uh, divorces, <laughs> you know, relationships, yeah. thought businesses, bought businesses, <laughs> yeah. yeah, partied, you know, watched us come of age, career changes, right. you career know, changes, everything, everything, and yeah. watched it, and just the all the different milestones. Mm-hmm. And you, you, it's like crazy to sit there and think, but who would, you're right. Who would have thought when you walked in the firehouse, I mean, I did it to get my community service to graduate high school. Like, right. right. I would have never thought that in a million years that I would have done it and stayed with it. And it's even more interesting that we're volunteer. We don't get paid for it. Right. So right. people always ask that, like, why aren't you paid? What do you mean you're, you're volunteering your time? And right. I would always say like, yeah, there's a career and there's volunteer, and I would say the difference is I'm, I'm here not because I'm relying on a paycheck. Right. I'm here because I want to be here. I'm not saying that all career guys aren't there because they want to be there. Right. But you have to. You have it to does. like it. You do because it does <laughs> right. fall yes. into right. a certain time right. when you just go, I'm just going through the motions, get a paycheck. Yeah. But, you know, that's the only difference. And, you know, it, it, it's interesting that here you are still. And even life members, but right. we all right. go back for and stuff, we, right? We keep going. We back. go back to ride. I mean, you know, I'm still riding. Are we on the actively riding every if week I night? Closer, no. If right. I lived in the first do or second do or, or even in the state, I mean, I would still, still be, be there, there. right? You Absolutely. Know? And and so I, you know, I, I I participate on the advisory committee because it's something I can do remotely, and still feel like I'm doing right. something because it will always even if i walked in there and i didn't recognize a single person always be your home it would still be my rescue too right <laughs> well, and it's better right. respect yeah. and, it, right. and it shows you that obviously yeah. how much you enjoy it because yeah. you do like we step up when they need things mm-hmm. to the you know we do come out okay COVID, they need extra drivers We're okay there. Well, right. we went and drove right like mm-hmm. i I haven't driven in a while, but sure, I'll go there. I'll ride. Like, there's certain the, things. The, the National uh, Fallen oh, Firefighters. I mean, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. we always participate with that. But I mean, with Kenny and all that, God mm-hmm. rest. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I think Rescue Two did a fantastic job. You know, taking care of transporting, and you know, we've got some 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 older life members who are excellent with like driving the details. like right. the, those, right. de- right. yeah, those yeah. detailed yeah. things where it takes you know you need to know where you're going yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. even in today's you know everything's on the phone but it's still you know we, comforting we, we take comforting care to know right. that, take care. that's there that was that was awesome but it is interesting it shows how much that w- the passion or you know how much that we do become as a family unit and i still the consider it very much part of my identity even oh, though oh, i absolutely. don't run calls anymore i mean i was an emt for a job up until just two years ago, but like that's it's still who I it's like because you grew up there. It made you who you are. It is. We grew up. I mean, just like we were talking before about like us drinking and partying. Like we learned the hard knocks of life there. Yeah, my whole entire adult life was spent at the firehouse. Right. You learned. And I I laughed because you're like, if you have any old t-shirts you can wear, I'm like. I wear a Rescue 2 t-shirt probably day, like four days time. out of the week. So, yeah, yeah that's I got old some. one, too, so you must have been in the commissary, Rogers commissary. Yeah, I, think, I think I had Rogers in this to me. You probably <laughs> did. Yeah. Can you FedEx that overnight? <laughs> yeah. I got Pop one of those. I was looking for the ones. one with the monkey on the, my monkey oh, on the sleeve. Because she used to always embroider stupid right. for me. Right. The monkey and on the, the sleeve. Uh, smiley face on the yeah. Yeah. On the This one's old. I wonder if you did this one with the orange on the back. I did no, that. This isn't the orange. No, one. I Sorry. that one I definitely did. Did you? Yeah, yeah I noticed. Because yeah. this is, it's two, but I still have a couple that are two, two three. and three. That, that I, yeah. that I one of those really two. old. Those are dinosaurs. You that can put even, those in the museum, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sell that uh, on eBay. Like the the, I mean, it's like Swiss cheese yeah, on yeah. some of my older ones right. now. So I have to. I only wear it some. Special events. For special events. <laughs> yeah, that stays in the vault. Right. <laughs> so I think like between all of us, we've run thousands. Of calls. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. For sure. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. from delivering a baby, I've delivered three and a half. My half was <laughs> when I walked into the baby. house, right? <laughs> one leg out. The head and the shoulder, one shoulder was out. Uh, so she's done the hard work, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. I was just there to guide right. and placenta, right? right? So I can't get, that's not a full delivery. So that's why I say three and a half. People <laughs> always give me like the evil eye, like three and a half babies. <laughs> but I mean, we have seen. Everything. Well, I always say we've seen everything, and then something will happen. Oh, something you're like, just, you, I've never you know, seen like, that. Yeah. Really? Because now, now I've seen everything, and then something else happens. I'm like, what could happen yeah. next, you know? You can't make that stuff up. No, you can't. You really can't make some stuff up. I ran a call once at uh, the lake, the pond, the lake at uh, 
at the Weed Regional, and the kid had been casting, and I don't know what the f*** he was doing, but the hook got in his eyelid. Oh, God. But it was, oh, he almost couldn't it's feel it. It was barely in there, but every, I mean, every eye movement, you don't know oh. how much your eye moves, yeah. but the little, the little shiny, uh, spinny thing was just like flappy 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 oh. flappy, flappy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and like you know what we're just gonna go to the hospital i'm not touching it i'm not doing with that yeah. i'm not even gonna put a cup, cup on, on it, it because yeah. i'm just right. there's too much hanging so yeah. i'm just like you're going as is and he was like he's fine but i mean okay. like you know okay how did you do that and he had no idea so if he had no idea I, you know you can't make it up yeah. some of the stuff that happens but I think we've learned what is important. By seeing everybody else's traumas and horror, we've yeah. learned to let things go uh -huh. that are not important. I think we can manage our lives better in many ways because we look at people and we're like, this is so not important. Just at work, right. I'm like, really, right. this is upsetting you? Why is this upsetting right. you? You know, it's right. like, come on. Yeah. And I'm just the thinking, copier's jam. It's going to be okay. Right. Everything's going to be all right. It's no big deal. You're still going to go home tonight. You're going right. to wake up tomorrow, God willing. And I'm like, yeah. really? Yeah. So it puts things into much clearer perspective. Plus, we've all had our own personal tragedies in life. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, I think that we've been able to manage those a little bit better because we've seen things. We have each other. We all understand what each other is going through because mm -hmm. we've seen this so many times. Mm -hmm. Very true. But yet still, I smell something strange in my house. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, God. Call 911. <laughs> I'm like, I can't figure it out myself. And meanwhile, I go to somebody else's house. I'm like, oh, yes. This is, you know? Right. Right. <laughs> this yeah. is true. Yes. It's, it's true. So funny. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> it's so funny. Because you're expected to be the one that goes in and, and, right. and calms, yeah. right. calms that situation. Right, right. But when it's yours, oh. My family always calls me, what should I do? I what, know. what do you think? Mm -hmm. Is it okay if, is this normal? <laughs> I know. No. Call 911. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Yeah, right? <laughs> Don't call me. Right. I know, my neighbors are always calling me and I'll walk in my house, I'm like, do you smell smoke? I'm like, where are my cats? Oh my God, clear the house, clear the house. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Is it, it's like, oh, it's my neighbor having a barbecue. Oh, thank God. Okay, right. good. <laughs> well, it's sure. hilarious. It's funny you say that about how, you know, we see things that puts everything into perspective. And my husband will always joke that I have a terrible bedside manner because <laughs> I'm usually just like, You'll be fine. Right. Shake Shannon's famous really. last words. You'll be fine. Shake it off. Yeah. You'll you know? be fine. Suck it up. Yeah. No, I'm glad I, you're good. I can't move my, you'll be fine. Tape be it fine. up. Let's go. That's right. <laughs> but yeah. That's and he's just, sick now too. You better be nice. he's sick, yeah. Uh, he'll be fine. He'll be all right. Take it a leave. Go to bed. Take it a leave. Go to bed. Everything's the way it should be. There's no blood. I don't smell burning. We're good. <laughs> right? Right. Taking a leave. For the next five minutes, everything's just fine. <laughs> it's so We're reevaluating. So I, I have to try to, like, be a little more compassionate with my family when they have issues. Yeah, but it, then they'll, they'll they are get tough. They're tough. Because tough. they know how you are. So if you change now, it, uh, you're going to throw them off. And they're yeah. going to be like, oh, and my like, God. Something's wrong with Something me Something is real. terribly <laughs> wrong. Right. 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 That's the first right. thing. Like. You know, we're taught just be stoic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you see somebody's leg hanging off, be like, okay, let me help you. And I'm like, right. <laughs> Meanwhile, you are going, what the f done, dude? Inside. Stay tuned for next week's Adventures of Firefighting Female. Until then, be safe, take care of one another, and as always, thank you for your dedication to the communities that you serve.